Hey there guys, up to fairly recently measuring par uh, that in micromoles per meter square per second was really only possible with using quantum sensors. And they're quite expensive. The benchmark of the industry really is the Apogee SQ500 and that can set you back six or seven hundred dollars. And there is a uh, more cost effective version, very close in terms of accuracy called the Spot On. It's about half that price. Um, but this is pretty expensive for the home grower. Uh, fortunately, guys have jumped in in the form of um, smartphone apps. So there's the PPFD app and the iPhone app, and or sorry, the Photone app, and both of them are now available on both iPhone, uh, iOS, and uh, for Android phones as well. And I decided to do an update and uh, test them both uh, against the um, the industry standard, the SQ500. So I put it under an LED light source, the Migro Array, and um, first of all I tested the iPhone with the various apps. So the Apogee SQ500 got an average power reading of 630 micromoles. The iPhone with the PPFD app with the little diffuser on top, and that's just a piece of printer paper uh, sellotaped over the front camera of the phone, uh, delivered a result of 611. So. Um, that's only 3% difference, which is excellent. I also tested the iPhone with the Photone app, and that again, very similar result, 610 micromoles, so only 3% of the difference. And all of the iPhone models, I tested with the iPhone 12, but the front-facing cameras on the iPhones are all the same. Same spec, same sensitivity. So that accuracy should read across on all the iPhone models um, and be very similar. Now with the PPFD app, you can also, it has a feature where you can pair it to a Unity um, Lux meter, Bluetooth Lux meter, they're available, um, links below. And that delivered um, a result of 699 uh, micromoles when um, the iPhone was paired with the PPFD app. So only a, a plus 11%, so a little bit out, but still usable. I then tested uh, both the apps with the Android phone. Um, so again, the reference was 630 micromoles. The PPFD app with Android um, gave a result of 422, which is 33% out, not really usable. Uh, the front-facing cameras on different Android phones have different sensitivity. I did not calibrate this for sensitivity uh, with the um, with the Galaxy uh, Samsung Galaxy S22. It is possible to do that to get a more accurate reading, but I thought it was best to do them uncalibrated. Now, when it was paired, uh, the PPFD app was used on Android and paired with the uh, Unity Lux meter. It got a 702 reading, that's plus 11% again, so pretty accurate. Um, but the Photone app on Android uh, delivered uh, 569, or measured 569, which is 10% um, in the difference. So again, pretty accurate. Um, but if you're using, I would suggest if you're using, uh, if you have an Android, I would suggest using the um, Android with Unity if possible. They're both similar in, in accuracy uh, between the uh, PPFD and the Photon app. But getting into the uh, detail of a little bit, the PPFD app has a lot more features. Um, with the PPFD app, you can map out the power, so you can make your own power chart and it will show you what the efficiency of your system is, uh, what the uniformity is, so how well it's spread. Uh, a really great feature there. And there's lots of features, a lot more features free on the PPFD app as well. So I'd, I would recommend that over the Photone app. Um, I think it's a better option. They have much more choices in terms of uh, light source. So it's calibrated for um, HPS and uh, different forms of LED light, including red, blue LEDs, etc. So yeah, really great development. Um, if you are interested in doing this and then getting the PPFD app as well, or sorry, using the PPFD app to generate uh, power charts, there's a link to a video I've done on that previously. It's in the description below. And uh, yeah, if you, wanna, if you are at a pro level or really at an expert level and you want absolute accuracy across um, all different types of light sources and all different scenarios, I would still say, you know, the quantum sensor is, um, is the best option. But apps are really improving and, uh, you know, for the home grower, absolutely perfect. Hope you enjoyed. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Take care.